This is how I believe, okay? I'm from the old school. I believe this. I would rather play with 10 people and just get penalized all the way until we got to do something else, rather than play with 11 when I know that right now that person is not sold out to be a part of this team. It is more about them than it is about the team. Cannot play with them. Cannot win with them. Cannot coach with them. Can't do it. I want winners. I want people that want to win. The infamous press conference following the Vernon Davis benching is proof that Mike Singletary is old school. I told him that he would do a better job for us right now taking a shower and coming back and watching the game than going out on the field. But it is also proof that his intensity, while well-intentioned, may not have always served his best interest. You gotta hold the ball! I do think he became a bit of a caricature uh, because of, you know, his eyes and his emotion. What the hell is this? I come over here and And I think that's unfortunate. But Mike's a much more complex person than that. That pissed me off, bro. You don't know who you're dealing with, man. That pissed me off. That's wrong. I want to run the ball, man. We got to run the ball. Then let's run it. Okay. I'd say Mike is stubborn now. But there's nothing the matter with being stubborn. If you believe what you're doing is right, then you be stubborn. And you do it your way. Singletary led San Francisco to a 500 record in 2009. But an 0-5 start in 2010 ended in a 10-loss season. Singletary's way was being openly questioned. You got a lot more things to worry about. You can't be screaming on the sideline. I mean, you got to be a left cover. I knew it was pretty heated over there, and that's happened before. You don't see that much in the NFL. Is that the wrong way for the head coach to interact with the quarterback? You know what? I, I don't really know about coaching etiquette. Um, you know, I, I'm sure there's a the right way and there's the wrong way in today's... Uh, Anything you do as a coach, the thing that they hire you for is the thing they're going to fire you for. Whatever that personality is, if you're winning, that's great. But when you're losing, no matter what it is, that's what's going to come back and they're going to say, oh, okay, that's the reason why you shouldn't be a head coach. That will put an end to their 2010 season that no one beforehand could have envisioned. Double-digit losses. I take full responsibility for every unanswered question. I take full responsibility for that. Do you, um, do you expect to be back next year? Oh, I don't know. That's not my decision. But a lot of what happened out in San Francisco, I think, was very unfortunate. When you take a guy who played the game with the passion that Mike played it, you can understand what happened. He was that kind of coach, and so they decided to move on from him. Breaking news here on NFL Network. The San Francisco 49ers have fired head coach Mike Singletary. Singletary in the I guess the only question you have is, can great players be great coaches? You know, they're almost unforgiving because of what they're able to do as Hall of Fame players. Are they tolerant enough of people who aren't that good? At that time, I thought I knew everything. I really thought my leadership abilities was all that was necessary. I really thought, as a leader, um, I can take any team anywhere. It's been five years since Mike Singletary roamed an NFL sideline as a head coach. He continues to prepare himself for a return to the game he loves, the only way he knows how. I, I want to learn as much as I can about both sides of the ball. Which one do you want next? We're going to go to the uh, field route. Okay. This is our first field route. I think he's had the opportunity to learn things and do things differently. So many people don't get that opportunity. Studying the game, the preparation that's involved, putting in the time to become a coach as I was a player. The next time I'm coaching, I want to make sure that I can talk to the D-line even though I hear the naysayers, even though I've had setbacks, even though I've, I've fallen on my face, I just have to get up and, and keep going because it's so clear, I see it, that will not deter me.